you're joining us with Harry Kane and Rain Davis. Thanks for joining us, guys. Well. We start about uh, talking about last weekend. Harry, you were there. Rain, you weren't there. It was a massive game for West. That one, uh, West won two one away at New Mills. How was that game for you, Harry? Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a tough game. I mean, it set out to be like an emphatic game. To be fair, with the early two with the early two goals, and we thought we were going to freeze it. Um, and then, to be fair, sort of on the lack of the concentration and a very good finish from from the New, the New Mills player um, made it a bit of a turn it into a bit of a scrappy one. So the first half was exciting, the second half was just dig deep to get the result. Um, uh, yeah, the fans were fans great, lifted us all the way through it, so it was good. Yeah, that won't come as a surprise to Rain, who's known the fans for a while, but yeah, there must have been about 300, 400 West fans. What difference did they make? Massive, yeah. From, from minute one, um, you heard them all the way through, and at those sort of crunch moments, uh, like it's key, it brings you up, it gives you that little bit of extra energy. Uh, every tackle that you make, every pass that you make, they're behind you. Um, so it keeps you motivated to keep going and to do it for them, really. And for you, Rain, obviously you got it to not be there. What, what's it like kind of checking the full-time score? Were you checking the full-time score? Were you kind of following it? Like, how, How's that for you not being there? Well, I was working, actually. The client was a bit like, you know, keep checking your phone a lot. <laughs> yeah. but I was just flicking through the Twitter and I did have no service and it came through that someone scored. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, think, think about it kind of stuff. And for yourself, obviously, your, your team, well, I hope you're happy that the team oh, won, yeah. but is, there, is it kind of tinged a little bit that you weren't there? You know how... Well, personally, yeah, you obviously you want to play, you want to play every game, and especially yeah. big games like that. But three points is the main thing, and you know, I'm over the moon that you know Joel got a goal, and you know, what I'm seeing the pitch in the video, it's, it's a good, good finish. Um, but it, it, yeah, the main point, the main thing is. Does it make you feel better when you know there's good players to take your place, or are you a little bit like this is hard to get my place back after a big win? Like, how, what's yeah, the thinking there, or, or have you not thought about this? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't really, it doesn't really think about. Yeah. I think whoever you know Ross decides to play, they're going to do the job, um, and that's I think what we've done so well this year, you know. I've missed my fair share of games. I think we all, all missed you know, our fair share of games. Um, but having that, you know, that depth and that strength is, is what's made us to me where we are. Yeah. So we've spoken to Chris when you signed Harry and he was saying that you were the player, I think, when he first took, took, uh, sorry, took over at West. Um, it was you and Sam that he most wanted to get into the team. So, um, like, how did he sell the club to you? Is this, like, a conversation that's been going on for a year or yeah. two now to kind of get you down to West? To be fair, like, obviously when he first, when he first got the job, um, I think he, he pretty much sent a message out to the whole Walter Reserve squad. Yeah. Um, and cause, just because like he knew the characters we were and, and the players that we were, um, and he was always trying to get me down, it just never it was never really the right time for me. I was pushing to try and be as like play as high as I could. Um, I was doing really well at Northwich, um, so I didn't really want to leave that. Um, but the, the, the things that he always spoke to me about was obviously the sort of camaraderie between the, the players and the fans as well. Um, the, the gate that you get to, to home games and what you take away um, saying playing in front of those fans how great it will be um, and he just sort of wore away at me wore away at me and then obviously when the opportunity came um, through injury uh, that I wanted to get some game time it just seemed like the perfect fit so you kind of uh, you kind of came to get uh, game time I think you had a shoulder injury is it something yeah. you feel like now you've uh, kind of got his claws into you a little bit yeah, yeah so uh, you're going to know no, it's you don't have to say the thing official, no. but you know, yeah, is it it's something that you kind of... Uh, yeah, it's yeah. one of those things, uh, coming with, with the hope to fall in love, back, back in love with football, like I lost my head a little bit, it, I dislocated my elbow, um, I was out for three months, um, struggling to get back in the gym to just get fit again, um, and I just wanted to go somewhere where I knew I was going to play, uh, and I was still a little bit nervous coming in, because obviously the, the squad was doing so well, uh, that I didn't want to tread on anyone's toes or anything like that, um, but it soon came apparent that once I started to get my fitness back, Chris wants to play me regularly, so it's obviously good for me and hard to leave. So, yeah, we never lose it. Do we? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, so you've kind of gained a bit of fame as well with TikTok. Are we right with that? Is that, is that something that happened while you were injured, or is that something you've kind of had on the back burner for a lockdown. while now? Lockdown, yeah, yeah, lockdown. And uh, sort of came through lockdown. Uh, interesting one, just sort of just built from there. Was started as a bit of a bit of a giggle, bit of a laugh. Uh, views started to grow. People started to talk to me. Yeah, just it's sort of growing from there, so just sort of taking it as it comes, really. I'm sure you probably already know this, and West fans already know this, but you're actually with the first YouTube footballer right now. <laughs> really? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Ray Davis was signed by Alex Ferguson as a young no child based on way. YouTube, so we're kind of looking at old social media and new here. Have you got any uh, words of advice to you know the, year, the young up and coming? Social media stars of the future. Like How old are you? Well, yeah, I think you're older than me, are you? <laughs> no, I, think it, I think it's very much different to when, you know, back then it was just YouTube. Yeah. Now it's TikTok, and it's just so instant. So I think, yeah, he's the master now. YouTube is massive, to be fair. YouTube is big. Um, and it's kind of a bit of an inspiration, Rain, when I was, when I was sure. growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's why I got 
got into, into TikTok. <laughs> um, but you yeah, your channel yeah. set up yet? I've not yet. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for the call up to the, to the TikTok, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. You know, show Australian <laughs> whiz kid on the rise. Exactly. Whatever happened to the Australian whiz kid? Uh, yeah. yeah, where did he end up? Like, Soccer room. Working on a Saturday. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, we want Rain involved in the TikTok. What other West players would you like to get involved? Oh, difficult one, this. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say Skipper. Uh, Sam, with the, the whippage on the free kick is outrageous. I'd love to capture a few of them on my TikTok. I think those views would bang. Uh, not very good for his ego, but uh, <laughs> we'll let him off. Uh, and also think like Gav, Gav in the middle, doing some Sunday League big tackles. Yeah. He loves a big tackle. Uh, I'd love to sort of get him involved in a TikTok. Just on yourself, you were, you? Uh, not, probably not, no. no. I'd probably get rain in for yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Gav showing some of his diverse tackles. Yeah, so I mean, looking at your videos, you can hit top corner quite a few times. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many takes that's with, but you, your, your videos, yeah, <laughs> top corner. Is that like a, a conversation that's happening on the pitch between you and Sam? I've seen when there is a free um, kick. It's often you kind of stood over it. Yeah, so Delaney I, likes to stand over a free yeah, kick. Is that kind of a, an argument that happens between three of you there? I came in, I think the first week I came in and uh, I put a ball down in training and I hit, I hit a piece of free kick. And yeah. I think Sam said, it's good, but you're never going to be on the no. um, So I just left it at that. And I'll leave him to do his magic. And, and when, it, when he starts to miss a couple, I might ask the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, after such a big win like last week, how kind of easy or difficult is it to look forward to the next game? You know, the celebrations seem to be yeah. pretty big. It, you know, what was uh, Chris saying after the match? Just the more, more of the same each week, really. I think each week he huddles and gets us together at a like, when we go win, we win all the time, most of the time. Um, and just says to, to sort of keep building on the momentum that we've got. Um, obviously, it, it's in our hands now, and so it's only going to be down to us if, if we let it slip. Um, so we've just got to stick together, turn up, do our job. Uh, people will change their formations to, to try and counter us, but we just got to stick to what we're good at and, and our sort of quality will shine through. And having the game off range that you'd be even more kind of eager, for, yeah. eager for Saturday. Always eager, yeah. I think yeah. That's, that's something that we, we all are at the moment. I think we're all chopping a bit. Yeah. Um, and every, every game's a big game. Yeah. I'd probably keep saying every game's a cup final. Every yeah. game's to, you know, spoil the party. Mm -hmm. um, but if we just you know, play every game with it as it comes and three points every week, you know, we're going up. I think on that cliche, we might leave it. Well, that's yeah. it. There you go. Cheers. Thanks a lot.